Hello everybody, this is Marty and welcome to the, the first part in the series, So New September. Yeah, instead of having First Impression Fridays, we're going to do So New September the entire month of September because I have so many freaking new products that First Impression Fridays, I'd be backed up for like two or three years. So in the first installment of So New September, we have the August Ipsy Glam Bag. Yeah, so in this Ipsy Glam Bag, the theme was um, Confidence Level Selfie Without a Filter, which is a, a cool concept. This is our little orange and yellow baggie. So if you want to see if I'm giving this a diamond, you can stay tuned and just keep watching. Thanks. Okay, everybody. So here I am. I have nothing on my face. My face is not washed. Uh, well, I mean, I washed it like this morning, but it's not washed now. It's not clean. It's because one of our, the first products I want to go over with y'all is the Ahava Age Reform A A H B A H Exfoliating Cleanser. I have no idea what that means. AM and PM massage over dampened face and neck, rinse, pat, dry, avoid contact with eyes, dermatologist develops. Okay, so Murad, I mean, Murad is not new to any of us, it's certainly not new to me. Murad is pretty well known. Um, I just want to test the texture with y'all right here, and then I'm going to go, obviously, to the bathroom, wash my face with it, so I can tell y'all what it's like. Because although my face is not, ooh, it smells fresh. Okay, I feel the little sand like little exfoliating sand pieces in it. It's not like a super harsh exfoliator, which is good. I, I, Y'all know how I feel about those. Like, I, I need you to re remove just the dead skin layers, not just like the entire, not all the skin on my freaking face. So, hmm, okay. So it's like really sandy. When it comes out, it's like this creamy white texture, like most cleansers look. And again, this is a cleanser. It's not a mask, it's not an exfoliator. You can use it AM and PM, so the exfoliant is not gonna be super harsh. Because you don't, you don't want to dry your skin out. So I'm going to go use this and I'll be right back. So um, that's I stayed in all day today. And even though I didn't go anywhere, I didn't put makeup on, I, um, your face still gets dirty with stuff that's just in the air floating around and stuff. So even though you're not going anywhere, you still want to make sure you wash your face. Because just stuff in the air will get in your skin and mess it up. This stuff, age reform. Okay, first of all, I am 31 now. I, and I know people always say... Not to brag, but people always say I don't look that old, but I am. I'm 31 years old. So it's time to start worrying about these kinds of things. I like this cleanser a lot. But this one, I like it for a couple reasons. So one, it's it's a really simple cleanser to use. I love my Glam Glow and all that, but the you mix it in your hand, you wash it on your face, you put a little water, you mix it on your face again. You put it, like, I don't have time for all that sometimes. So this is a one-stop shop. You just wet your face, you put it on, you massage it, and you take it off. And what I really like about it, my favorite thing, first of all, my face feels so soft right now. What I like about it the most, when I wash my face, I cannot rinse my face. I do not know why. I get water all over the place. I mess up my hair in the front, so I never wash my face. I mean, I never rinse my face. After I wash it, I always take a towel and, like, you know, scrub it off, which is also something, like, if you don't have an exfoliating cleanser, it exfoliates your skin really well, too. So, um, what I liked about this one, it rinsed off really clean. Like, sometimes when you use exfoliating cleansers, especially if they have, like, little exfoliators, like this one does, like, has a little sand in it, um, sometimes it'll leave those little tiny granules on my skin, and I hate that. So, um, this is, I, I like this. Murad. The Murad Age Reform AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. It's pretty good. I, I feel like it's going to be a good nighttime cleanser. The one thing about it that I that I don't think is going to work with it, I don't think that it would um, remove makeup very well. I think it's a it's a it's a no makeup uh, cleanser. It's not like I, I don't feel like the texture of it. I don't feel like it would remove makeup well. I'll try it at another time and just kind of update y'all on my Snapchat or something. I'll link my Snap share code below. But uh. Yeah, so that's the only thing about it that I'm kind of on the fence about. Our next product is the 11 Skin Harley St. London Cryo Activating Hydrogel. Okay, this stuff, I was, this stuff right here, I'm kind of excited about because one, I was looking at it online and it seems like, it seems really cool. Apply in the morning and night after cleansing and toning. If you use this part of a 11 Skin Regime, use in combination with Cryo energizing face serum don't have the cry cryo energizing face serum so Tr test this out it seems to me like it's kind of a moisturizer the packaging just kind of looks fancy to me i don't know maybe it's just me yeah i was right look at that packaging y'all it's so pretty like it's really fancy fancy 
So, 11 skin cryo-activating hydrogel. Let's see what's up with this thing. Massage gently onto face and neck, ease day and night. This bag is kind of like skincare heavy, which I like. That's a good thing. Oh, it smells so fresh. It smells like powdery and fresh. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the finger. I mean, on the, like, you know what I mean. This is what it looks like before it's smoothed out on the skin. It's said to start in the middle of your face, so I guess that would, for most people, be their nose. And spread it outward, which I don't know why people say that. I always do the five dots, but, you know. Okay, it feels really good. It feels almost like a mask, like a hydrating mask, but it's a moisturizer. Hmm. Ooh, child. If I didn't spend so much on that Glam Glow Volclasmic, I would replace it with this. Ooh, I like this a lot, y'all. This could be just feeling it on my face right now. This could be one of the best moisturizers I personally have ever used. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me stop because I'm going to put it like all over my face. I'm going to like use it all on my face. <laughs> use the whole little tube. Okay, so I have the Shop with Ipsy thing. I think I'm going to... I'm gonna have to make a purchase. This is the first one I've ever had, but ooh, this stuff is good. The combo of the of the Murad cleanser and the Eleven Skin Moisturizer is a like I mean that's a dynamite tag team. If I can say dynamite tag team on my channel, um, these two together, that's the Ipsy. Good looking out, Ipsy, because that's a good combo right there. The Crow Activating Hydrogel is amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm in love with this. This is probably, like I said, of all the Ipsy moisturizers I've gotten, I've gotten quite a few good ones. This is by far my favorite one. I mean, y'all, it's so good. It's so, like, not creamy. It's almost like when you put it on, you can, like, feel it. Like, like I can feel it, like, plumping. Like, it's so, ooh. Okay. Yeah, this one is awesome. In combo with this, it's, like, this is, like, a one-two. Good skin punch, I like it a lot, so. Okay, so I don't wanna run back downstairs and get my makeup box, so I'm not gonna, my makeup bag, so I'm not gonna use my regular little mirror, my little Chanel mirror that I love. Instead, I'm gonna use this palette I bought, I don't remember where I bought it from, I think I ordered it from Amazon, which I store actually all of my Ipsy things in, all my little Ipsy um, trials, like all these little things they give when it's in like a regular little slidey pack, I take it out and I put it in this, in this magnetic um, palette. So our next item is Billion Dollar Brows Mini Universal Brow Pencil. Okay, so Ipsy's been like filling me with these brow pencils lately. Like I've gotten so many brow pencils or brow products from them. You know, I mean, I also have been buying a bunch myself and like the benefit, it's hard for anything to live up to the benefit brow products that I've been finding lately because they have been the bomb and they've been really, really cheap. Like, I mean, not cheap, but inexpensive. So um, I can't open this, but... I was watching the new season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and I swear, Kim Kardashian was talking. Ooh, look at, okay, so this is the point of this. It's so, I like it. It's, it's a good um, thin point, because I don't like to, I like them really skinny. This is the packaging on this simple black, white, pretty elegant, and it has the little shade sample right there. Didn't come with a spoolie. Thankfully, I have my own. Anyway, I was watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and I, I was watching, I think my mom was there. Somebody was with me, I can't remember who. Usually it's her, because she's, always uh that's best day so she's always around but um i swear kim kardashian had those like gray white brows so i don't know if that's like hot in the streets right now that everybody's doing that but uh i, I don't have time for you know snowy brows so let's see what they're looking like let's see what this is looking like all right let's see here okay glass on pretty smooth feeling that again i like the pencil uh i like the point it's a very skinny point, which gives me a lot of room to, uh, it gives a lot of control, which I like. It's got like a weird, almost like a pomade in it or something. Like I feel like it's taming it as it's filling it in. Like it's not like a pencil, it's almost more like a, like a cream or something. But you see what I'm saying? This is exactly what I'm talking about, this gray. I don't know what that is or why that's, I hate that. Oh my gosh, so this has it too. But it's not their fault. Maybe it's something I'm not getting that I need to know that I just don't know about this gray eyebrow situation going on. I hate that. Ugh. So this one might be a good, like, fill-out pencil. Like, not, not fill-out. Like, fill-in pencil. I mean, no. I don't know. I guess it's a good... 
it's a good outline pencil, maybe not a good fill-in pencil, because it seems like it gets that white tint when you go over it a couple times. Thin it out a little bit before I clean it up and go back over, pull it to let it fade in. The rest of the oh, the rest of the little product is good though. I just don't like that that ashy thing. But again, that's something that I find in all of my brow pencils, except again, the benefit. Benefit it, like all of those. I guess it's like prestige brands there. Well, that's, they call them prestige brands at Ulta, so therefore I too call them prestige brands. See, this one isn't as bad. It's, it seems like it's only when I try to like make a shape, like where there's no hair and I try to do it, it makes that white thing. This one isn't as bad, but I didn't have to fill it in as much either. This brow just always had more hair. And this brow for some reason, okay, y'all know how you always have like one brow that's like, <laughs> one brow that's like great and the other brow is just like completely out of control? This is my good brow. You're my good brow, sweetie. That's not to say you can't be good either. You have to learn. You just gotta do better. Make better choices. I like it. It's better than Pop Beauty. It's better than the Pop Beauty one I got last month or the month before, I can't remember when. But this one, um, I like it better. I still have the same issue with it, but I like about this one, the control. The little tip is a lot smaller, like it's a much smaller pencil. So I can really get in and really go in with that. Um, so, billion dollar brows, I don't know if I call it billion dollar brows, but it's not, it's not super cheap brows. They're, they're, they're nice, they're nice. They look good, so. Okay, my next thing is the foundation, so I'm gonna go do my eyeshadow and a few other things, and I will be right back. Okay, so the majority of my look is done. I have two more products from the Ipsy bag to try, from the Ipsy Glam bag to try from this month. And one is a highlighter and the other one is a lip gloss. So, um, let's see which one. I guess do the highlighter first. Yeah, let's do the highlighter first. So, my highlighter today is from Kaite London, which y'all know Kaite London is like, I'm kind of obsessed with them as far as their eyeliners go. Like I have it on today. I wear it whenever I need to really show up with eyeliner. I always use the Kaite London eyeliner just because it is just that freaking good. It's so good. Um, I've used some of their lipsticks too. Uh, not lipsticks. I've used some of their um, nail polish too, and it's good too. I'm trying to think what else I use from Kaite London. So this one is a highlighter. It is called the Glow 2 Highlighter. This is the packaging. It got a little messed up in the mail, I guess. I don't know. But it's really pretty. So that's the packaging. Let's see. So open it up. Is it one of those little sample things? It is. It's one of those little non-container samples. So this is the actual thing they sent me. It's called Moon Dust. So I'm gonna put it. That's why I have this palette because I always put like these little things in the palette because they usually have a metal back. You just stick it in there and it'll keep it um, from getting messed up. Louie. So instead of just putting it straight on my face like I usually do, I want to swatch it first just to see what it's like. This is, it's so pretty. I mean, like I said, Kaite London hasn't disappointed me thus far, so why would they start? Apparently they won't today because this is gorgeous. Let's swatch it on the hand here. It's pretty, ooh, yeah, okay. It reminds me a lot of my Ofra. So let's see, I'm gonna try the light fan first, and then if the light fan brush doesn't work, then we'll go with the, uh, we'll try the highlighter brush, because I don't wanna, so ooh, I accidentally, look. Try to take the plastic off of this brush. I accidentally like hit the highlighter. Look at the brush. That's a good sign right there. So let me close the brush since the, uh, the highlighter since apparently it's like super duper finely milled and ready to go on. So let's see. I'm going to take my little brush here, go back and forth a couple times on it, on the cheeks. Okie dokie then. Well, wow, okay. I just want to see since I have like since it's up since it's so bright as I always do I want to try the way I usually apply blinding highlights with my finger first okay yeah that's I don't know that that technique always works for me because I like a blinding highlight like I don't need like a hint of a highlight I want you to be like I want you to seem to be like oh she's she's got a highlight on that's what I'm trying to get so that simple little fan I might use it to like spread it out but Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to flick y'all off. I am so sorry. My bad. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with my highlighter brush. My tapered highlighter brush. And I'm going to fan it out now like that. Yeah, see? Ooh, okay. Nice. I like it a lot. It's super, super bright, super blinding highlighter. 
which again, I like that. So, Kai Taylor gets another one, y'all. The smell of my shampoo I use for my brushes, like I, I don't buy brush shampoo. I use the shampoo that, um, like a Dollar Swap shampoo or something. But I brush my, but I do my brushes like every weekend. It smells like strawberries and it smells good on my brush. Okay, so Kaite London highlighter. I mean, y'all can see it. I don't have to explain it to you. Kaite London strikes again. It's really good. I love it. Love it. Love Moon Dust. I'd like to see what other shades they have because I like a good gold highlighter, which is what I always get from Ipsy. But I also like a good, like, kind of white, icy glazed donut. Um, Amo for glazed donut. Um, Diamond Fire highlighter from uh, Too Faced. That's another thing I'm into too. So it would be nice to have gotten to get some more like that. I want to see what else they have at the Kayate website and see what they got because I like that. Last but not least, I have from Glamour Dolls. This is the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life. This little tiny lipstick, uh, lip gloss. It is a Glamour Dolls Sweet Treats lip gloss in the shade. Uh, I guess they didn't feel the need to tell me what the shade is because I don't see it over here. But it looks like a little popsicle. Now, I mean. For the summer, are you kidding me? That's so perfect. A little popsicle. I love it. So, I'll try that on. It's Oh, it's peach. I don't know where I read that. Maybe I read on the Ipsy site that this is the shade peach. It smells good, too. It smells like a lip oil. Okay, it's definitely peach. Okay, so, I, I love it. It's nice. I like it a lot. So, let me go um, do a final dusting of powder and fix my hair up and I'll be right back and we'll decide if we're giving this a diamond or not yay okay so I'm back I'm completely done I don't know why but I, maybe it's this sweatshirt or this high ponytail but I feel like I'm reliving my college days I don't know it's weird but anyway <laughs> so I'm back completely done face is done I would like to now talk about the August ipsy glam bag which came in this little orange bag the bag is I mean it's just kind of plain. It doesn't really have anything going on. It's just orange. It has this yellow trim, which matches my sweatshirt, so that's good. And then it has this little, this little card. So the theme of the glam bag this month was selfie with no filter, confidence level selfie with no filter, which I like because the, I do feel like the products in it this month will give you the confidence to take take a selfie without a filter. So let's go over what they have in the bag. So let's go over them one by one. The Billion Dollar Brow, Brows, Mini Universal Brow Pencil. Again, I guess it's because it's the shade Universal. Um, it's not bad. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look as gray as the Pop Pop London did, the Pop Beauty one did. But it's n I, I just don't understand this grayish thing with the brows. I still see it. Maybe I'm making it up in my mind. The brows look good, though, so I don't hate it. I, I, I like it. It's just a regular brow pencil. It's not mind-blowing. But I like it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Then we have, um, let me let me go through them like from favorite to least favorite, or from least favorite to favorite. Then we have the Glamour Doll Sweet Treats Lip Gloss. Now, here's the thing with this lip gloss. I like it. It's a good lip gloss. It's peach. It's happy. It's pink. It's fun. The packaging is like beyond. I love the little popsicle packaging. It's so cute. When I looked at it in the, in the mirror a little while ago and I went in the bathroom to wash the swatches off my hand, when I went in the bathroom, I did notice that it has glitter in it. I don't like lipsticks with glitter in it because I find it gives an overall white sheen, which sometimes will make your teeth not look as white as it could, as they could. Let me see if you can see it. You can kind of sort of see it. Now, again, from my cold, my lips were pretty dry, too, so they might look kind of cracked, so you might not be able to see them on there. But, I mean, it's got, like, little tiny traces of glitter, and you can kind of see it. It has an iridescence to it. It's moisturizing though. It's really, it, it's pretty. It's plain. It's just like, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Like, it's pretty good. The smell is amazing though. The smell is really good. It doesn't taste like anything. I always taste lipsticks because uh, I, it's on your freaking mouth. Like, give me a break. Something else about it that I love. The product itself isn't that awesome, but the rest of it, like the way, the, the, the unscrewing of it, you twist a little popsicle stick and it comes out. So that I love because this handle, which I guess because it, it's meant to mimic a popsicle stick handle, it's so easy to hold between your fingers. I know that sounds stupid 
and it sounds like it shouldn't be a big deal, but I can't stand when I'm like, when it's like moving around in my hand. So this flat, almost paddle handle, it works. And I actually kind of wish, now that now that this has come out, I hope more um, lip, lip, lip companies, lipstick, lip, lip glosses, whoever, I, I hope more of them kind of take this into consideration. I don't think they did it on purpose. I don't think they think it's as big a deal. I think they just want it to look like a popsicle and it does. But I, I, that's, I really like that. Glamour Dolls has always been a pretty good brand though. AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. Cleansers are like hard to be impressive because it's really just a cleanser. It's like being, oh, this is a great soap, which some people might, I don't know. I, I personally don't get that excited about soaps. This is a really good cleanser though. It left my skin feeling so, so, so soft. It was a gentle exfoliant. Like it's not a scrubby, like I'm scratching my face with glass. It's a really good, um, it's a really good, it has a really good light smell. The texture I like, it got my skin pretty clean. Again, I said earlier, and I think this again, I've never tried it, but I feel like it wouldn't take makeup off though. It doesn't have whatever that slippery stuff is that takes makeup off. It doesn't have it in here and it's not a very thick cleanser. It is so, so, so good though for just removing dead skin, like a nighttime cleanser or maybe a morning cleanser when you're just waking up. It'd be a really good morning cleanser. I, I like it. And next, the Kayate Glow 2 highlighter in the shade Moon Dust. So the shade of the of the of the highlighter really looks like this. It looks like that color. Let me take it out so you can see it though. Why would you take my word for it? So this is the highlighter itself. It's called Moon Dust. And I mean, Kayate London, again, I've tried a lot of their eye products. I've tried a couple of their um, nail polishes. I love Kayate London. I think their stuff is really, really good. I haven't been disappointed yet by them. This highlighter is no exception. I love this highlighter. You can see it on my cheek. It's pretty blinding. I mean, it's really pretty. And it, it it's super, like, blendable. Because I always apply it with my finger first. Then I go back and blend it out. Like, I just shoot and then I blend it out. It blended really well without like just flying off of my skin, which does happen sometimes. So I, uh, I, I really, I, I like this. And last but not least, this is my favorite product. Maybe not only in this Ipsy bag, maybe honestly of all time. I love this thing. This is the 111 Skin Harley St. London Cryo Activating Hydrogel. This crap is amazing. It is a moisturizer. So you put it on, you let it sit for a little while, it, I, I'm telling y'all, I don't know how it does it, but it's almost like it just plumps up your skin as you're sitting there. It doesn't sting, it doesn't burn, it doesn't do anything like that. It's not a mask. It feels like a mask when you apply it, though. So not only is it plumping up your skin, but it feels like it's so uh, hydrating. Like, it's super hydrating. It feels like a like a hydrating mask. Like the, um, the Blue Algae Peter Thomas Roth mask, except it's a moisturizer. So it just stays on your skin like that. I am obsessed with this moisturizer it's really really good so that being said all in all the august ipsy glam bag i would definitely give it a diamond they've been missing a lot in the past months august came through like every single product i like most of them i love all of them i like like none of them are lukewarm i, I like all of them they're all more warm than lukewarm um i just really love it so oof, i really love everything that came in this bag so the Ipsy bag gets a diamond. Thank you so much for watching this week's edition. Well, not this week's edition. Thank you for watching the August Ipsy Glam Bag Review here on Diamonds and Denim on the YouTube channel and on the blog. Please subscribe to the channel. Please read the blog. Thank you for being part of So New September with me. And I will see you in our next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.